Hello, my name is Michael Kopiak and I'm Director of Contact Center Technologies and Services for Telserve. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Application Performance Report from Avaya Aura Contact Center. This is a great report because it gives you most of the basic information supervisors and managers need to monitor their contact center groups. This is a standard report that comes as part of your Avaya Aura Contact Center installation. It can be run as an interval, daily, weekly, and monthly report. In our example report, I have run this as a daily report for a single application, central scheduling, and I ran it for a total of five days, which happened to be Monday through Friday. If we look at the fields contained on this report, we see that some are self-explanatory. However, others can cause a little confusion. The report starts with offered. This is the number of contacts offered to the application by the master script or contact router. The next field is answered. This is the number of contacts that were answered in skill sets where this application was the one that queued the contact. So in our example report, of the 446 calls offered to this application, 402 were answered after being queued to skill sets by this application. Next is answer delay. This is the total amount of delay experienced by all callers to this application that were ultimately answered. Any calls that came in and waited but were not answered are not included in this statistic. When a call arrives at the system, if that call waits, for example, five minutes, that five minutes gets collected. When the next call comes in, if that call waits four minutes, for example, that also gets collected and then added together with the amount of time that caller number one waited. So now, at this point, the answer delay would be nine minutes. The system keeps adding the answer delay of all the callers as they are processed through the system. In our example, all 402 callers added together waited a total of 5 hours, 17 minutes, and 6 seconds. After our answer delay, we have average answer delay. This amount of time is the result of taking the total answer delay from the previous field and dividing it by the number of calls answered. In this instance, 402. Here we see we have an average wait time, or answer delay, of 47 seconds for each caller. The next field is max answer delay. This field represents the maximum amount of time a single caller waited before being answered, almost like the world record of answered calls. When a contact waits, the system records that time. Until another contact waits longer than that time, the record stands as the max answer delay. Since this report was run as a daily report, we see in the details section that each day has its own unique max answer delay for that given day. But then we can also see that the longest wait by a caller, even among the five days, was the 9 minutes and 43 seconds from June 4th. So again, we can see from this report that a single caller waited 9 minutes and 43 seconds before being answered on Wednesday, and that was the longest anyone waited for the whole week. Moving one field to our right, we have answered after threshold. This is the total number of calls waiting longer than the assigned service level before being answered. For our example application, Central Scheduling, the service level is set at 30 seconds. So of the 402 total answered calls, 148 of those calls waited longer than 30 seconds before being answered. Next is Abandoned. Of the 446 total contacts offered, 44 of them decided to hang up without speaking to an agent. In our example, the contacts answered plus the contacts abandoned add up to our contacts offered. However, this is not always the case. There are other treatments that an application can provide to a contact which will not result in either an answer or an abandon. For example, the route call command will result in a terminated call. This field, terminated calls, is not included on this report, but can be found on a CDN statistic report. So if your answered and abandoned do not always add up to offered, there's no need to worry. Following abandoned, we have max abandoned delay. This is the same as max answer delay, only this is the record for the person who waited longest before hanging up without talking to an agent. Our next field, abandoned after threshold, is the number of callers 
who waited longer than our 30-second service level before hanging up. So of the 44 total abandoned calls, 28 waited longer than 30 seconds before hanging up. Moving on to answer delay at skill set, this is the delay experienced by callers once they were queued to a skill set by this application. If an application has upfront processing that it does for callers prior to queuing them, the difference in wait times would be seen from comparing the total answer delay from the answer delay field and this field. Some common upfront processing items would be a message that tells callers their call may be monitored or recorded. Another might be a menu where we attempt to determine the type of call so we can queue it to the most appropriate skill set. While these things are happening, the contact is accumulating delay time against the application, but until the Q2 skill set command is reached, the contact is not accumulating delay time against the skill set. Since our total answer delay at the application is only two seconds greater than the total answer delay at the skill set over an entire week, we can be pretty sure there is no upfront processing in this application. Contacts arrive and basically go right into queue at the skill set. Finally, we have percent service level. This field is a formula. The formula adds the calls answered and the calls abandoned, then it subtracts the calls answered after the service threshold and the calls abandoned after the service threshold. After that, it divides the result by the total of the calls answered and calls abandoned. Finally, it multiplies the result by 100. That might sound complicated, but let's break it down using the actual numbers from our example report. First, we add answered, 402, and abandoned, 44, for a total of 446. Then we subtract answered after threshold, 148, and abandoned after threshold, 28, for a new total of 270. Now we divide by our original total of 446, which gives us 0.6053811659, or round it off, 0.6054. Now multiply by 100 to turn this into a percent, and you have 60.54%. Ultimately, this tells us how many of the calls that came into this application were answered within our service level of 30 seconds. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. Please check back as we will be posting additional videos that cover the skill set performance report, agent performance report, and a variety of other reports from Avaya Aura Contact Center. Thank you for spending some time with me today, and if you have any contact center needs or questions, please feel free to use the Contact Us link on the Telserve.com website.